How to create digital stickers to sell on Etsy. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create amazing stickers that you can sell on Etsy because digital stickers are all the rage right now. If you go onto Etsy and search for a digital sticker, you're actually going to find so many different options and variations of stickers. And these are super easy to create. You can actually just customize a little bit of the themes within them and sell them with uh, different packaging. And you have so many different themes that you can go on about. So let's get started with building our own digital stickers. To do this, we are going to be using Canva because Canva can provide you with a really easy to use interface. Now, one other thing to note is that whenever you are selling these stickers, usually they're coming in packs. So you have to build like, you know, 50 or 10 similar looking stickers. Most people actually are selling them in larger bulk quantities like 200, 100 stickers, 500 stickers. That's what you're usually going to see that people are selling. So we're going to get started and firstly I am just going to go on ahead and go into Canva. Then I will click on create new design and I am going to create a new design and I'm going to go into custom size. Now this really depends on the size of the sticker printing paper you want to use. A really easy thing to do for this is just to search for A4 and you are just going to create a A4 sized blank page. So you can just search for A4 over here and you have you know the standard A4 sizing. If you want, you can even just go ahead and click on create design, go into custom size and type in the A4 pixel measurements. I'm just gonna go with 18 by 24. I don't think this is exactly A4. I'll actually search for A4 dimensions like so. And yeah, this is A4 paper is 8.3 into 11.7. So I'm going to go ahead, click on create new design, go ahead and type in 8.3 and then not pixels, inches, 8.3 and that's 11.7. So 11.7. And the reason I want to create this in a A4 size is because it makes it easier for people to print out the entire sticker paper. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started with designing and choosing my theme. Firstly, I'm going to change the background color and I'm going to do that by clicking on the canvas and then clicking on the color icon. And I'm going to be adding this muted pink color like so. After that, I can click on text and I will add a heading text and I'm going to add kawaii stickers. And that is going to be my primary theme. Now, this is just going to be like the front page that is going to advertise or display my stickers. I'm going to click on the font and I'm going to adjust the font by clicking on the top. And we have a bunch of different font options on the left. And I'm just going to search for a cute or sweet font like this one. And I think I'm going to go with maybe, um, I think this one looks the best. So I'm going to go with this. And I'm just going to place that at the center. And then I'll just click on add page to add another blank page. Now I'm going to change the color for this to white. And I'll tell you guys in a minute why I just did that. And now I can go into elements on the left and start searching for the stickers I want to create. I can search for cute and go into graphics. And I can use some of these amazing graphics to build my stickers. Now, one thing to note is that for commercial use, you do have to alter these images. You can't sell them directly as they are. You can only sell them if you are altering them. Uh, so I am going to take this frog, for example, and I'll zoom in in my canvas a little so you guys can see it a bit better. And I'm just going to decrease the size like so. And I'm going to go into text now, add subtitle, and I'm going to write some positive text. Don't worry be happy like this and i think i'm going to actually customize this a little so i'm going to write don't worry and i'm going to place this i'm just going to go ahead and place these right at the center like so and i'll add don't worry and then i will click on effects i will click on curve on the left 
and I'm going to click on curve again to add a curve like this. So it says, don't worry. And then command C, command V, be happy. And I am going to add a alternative curve. So I'm going to click on this text, click on effects, click on curve and make it minus 60 over here. So it's exactly the opposite of the other one. It says, don't worry, be happy. Now, once I've done that, I can just click on share on the top right, click on download. And you can actually select these items together and then click on group. This is the easier way to do this. So just select them together, click on group. Once you do that, you want to click on the grouped item like this, and you will see on the top right, the option for effects. So just click on effects on the left and you can go on ahead and actually go on effects, go ahead and go into shadow. And you're going to add a white shadow like this, and you're going to reduce the transparency, add the direction, add the offset. Now I'm going to add color to the background of the paper. so We can actually see how we can convert this into a sticker because when you have a sticker, it has a white outline. Most stickers do have that. So you want to add that and you can do that with one of the simple effects on our background section, not on this background, but it's actually proving to be a bit difficult because it is taking this as separate elements. Yeah, I think this method is not going to work as well because it has, you know, the gap between the illustration and the text. So what you're going to do is you're just going to keep the background white for now. Okay. And then click on share, click on download download this as a PNG, okay, and select transparent background. And you're just going to select the second page where you created this illustration. Click on download over here. Now it might take a couple of seconds for this to be downloaded. Once it has been downloaded, just go ahead, click on the color of your illustration and add the same background color. Drag and drop your new image version of your illustration. So this is the image version of your illustration and then you're going to simply click on this click on edit once you click on edit you will have a bunch of different options so you can go on ahead and go in into these filters you can add to the image you also have background remover grab text adjust so you're just going to go and select the image version of your sticker then click on shadows under effects, and then you're gonna click on the glow effect. Then you're going to choose a size. So you just increase the size, reduce the blur amount to zero, and choose the size that you prefer. Change the color to white and make the intensity full 100. And just like that, now we have a sticker version. So you guys can see now this has been converted into a really nice sticker on our sticker sheet. And you can convert any illustration text combo into a sticker like this. So for example, if I was to do another example, I'm just going to take this little piggy and we're going to add some text and it's going to say hi like this. And I want to convert this into a sticker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a new page because I like to just keep an empty page to keep on designing the new stickers. Click on download, download this as a PNG. Once the download as a PNG has been completed, upload it and convert it into a sticker. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.